Welcome brothers and sisters and a happy day to you all and welcome to chapter 6 of the Chronicles of the Children of Jaranat. Uh, our chapter today is called Journey to the Sacred Land. Heavenly Father, we pray that your spirit be with us today as we read this scripture and that we can get something from you out of it in our lives. I pray these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Chapter 6 Journey to the Sacred Island Now the Lord said unto the people that they must obey the words of the prophet Sharonach and that and that soon they would reach the land that he had, that he the Lord had promised them. Now when the Lord had finished speaking to the people, he abstained, ascended into heaven, and the heaven shone and sang at his ascending, and as the people looked up and the heavens closed, and they remained closed, and the light that the Saviour had brought with him was gone, and the people stood in amazement and looked around about themselves, and they sang praises unto the Lord, and they shouted, Hosanna into the heavens for the spirit of four days. And so it was that after the people had finished praising unto the Lord, Hajanak died, and the people mourned and cried, for they bid farewell to Hajanak, and they buried him in a stone tomb. Now when they had finished mourning Hajanak, the time came for the people to enter into the ships, and they were many in number and twenty-two thousand. The prophet Sharonat stood by the shoreline, and behold, all to enter the ships, and they came down to the shoreline, and they came with their cattle, their livestock, their chickens, and all manner of things they did bring from the land that they were leaving. So great was the multitude that it took five days for them to enter into the ships. Now when they had entered into the ships and the doors were sealed, the prophet Sharonat looked out upon the land and he knew that the land had been good to them and he blessed the land for future inhabitants of the land, he said, O Lord my God, hear the words of my mouth, for I am your thy servant. I cry unto you, your servant, and as, as thy servant and thy prophet, I bless this land in the name, for we have been faithful and we have created many stone monuments unto thee just as you have commanded us to do. And we have done this not for our own edification, but for yours. O Lord, and we have done this so that those, those that follow after us will know that we are the people of Aradak and that we follow the teachings of thy principle, and I have asked, O Lord and Saviour, that you will guide us on our journey, that you will guide us across the sea to the new land that you have promised us. And I ask you, guide us and set the wind to move our sails and calm the waves, of our mighty sea. I ask this, O Lord, with my mouth, and I pray unto you that you may deliver and 
these blessings unto my people, and a blessing I give unto the seed of Adonai, that they may stay strong and faithful, and the blessings that you have promised them will be able to be poured upon them. O Lord, bless this land and all that dwell on her, for it has been a good land and it has kept the people. In my name of the Almighty Lord, Amen. Then Sharonat had made an end to his prayer. He entered into a ship and the ship set sail upon the sea. Now behold, the people were on the sea for ten days, and the sea were calm, and the wind were good, and the ship sailed well, and all the people that were in the ships were blessed, and the Lord guided their journey. And the tenth day, the sea became still, and the wind died, and Sharonat was moved by the will of the people to go on top of the ship and inquire of the Lord why they had stopped moving now. Sharonat cried unto the Lord, saying, O Lord, why have you abandoned your people? O Lord, guide your people. See them safely to the land that you have promised. Behold, when he had finished, a voice from heaven said to Sharonat, Sharonat, my servant, have you forgotten that I am the Lord your God? Have you forgotten that I promised you that a, I would guide your people? Now remember that I am the Lord and I will guide you. The orb that you have given you, look to it for guidance and follow its instructions. The voice then left, Sharon at left the top of the ship and went beneath and brought forth the orb and went back to the top of the ship and held it aloft into the air and the orb began to spin and when Sharonat brought the orb down from the air he saw that upon the ball was direction his people must take and Sharonat ordered Ajin, who was the fleet navigator and a skilled sailor who had moved upon the waters many times to move the ship north, east. Ajin did what had been asked of him, for he was a skilled navigator and righteous man. And the ship sailed north, easterly, and on the night of the twelfth day, the ship came to rest on the seashore of a land the Lord had promised, and Sharonat led his people from the ship onto the new land. Behold, when all the ships were empty, and knelt down and gave thanks to the Lord their God, and Sharonat cried unto the heavens, thanking the Lord for preserving his people upon the sea. Sharonat cried aloud, saying, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my people have made it to the land that you have promised, and they have obedient unto my command. And because of thy power, O oh Lord, the waves were still and the winds were strong. O Lord, O Lord, O Lord, continue to bless my people upon this land. When Sharonak had finished crying unto the Lord, he gave orders for the people to give thanks, and the people sang and danced and gave thanks unto the Lord for the space of two days and nights. And when the people had made an end to their praising, Sharonak assembled his people, and Sharonak said to the people, We have journeyed across the sea. The Lord made the waves calm and the wind to blow, 
and he has brought us here, and we have fastened and given thanks two days and nights, and now the Lord wishes that we go forth into the land, and he wishes that we build great cities, great monuments unto him, so that we may be able to worship our Lord and Saviour. Now then, Sharadat had finished making an end to his word. He summarised, he summoned Shiblon to organise the people into groups, for Shiblon was a captain of the guard, and he was a mighty man like his father before him. And Shiblon went out and organised the people into groups, that the people were gathered together, twelve groups, so it would be easier to take the people up to the land. Sharonat did lead, lead his people forth from the seashore onto the land, and they stayed for many years upon the land building, building and building, temples, places of worship, and praising, singing unto the Lord their God. Now our Jaranak do bear testimony that the people did indeed stay faithful and they did all the things that the Lord commanded of them. And now I return to the record. And when sixty years had passed since the people arrived on the land, Sharonat was commanded of the Lord to go and teach to the entire world and to go west across the Great Sea. However, he was promised that he would not taste death. Now, before he left, he anointed one to stand his stead. And when he had done this, Sharonat made his journey. West and the people mourned for three days for their loss. And so it was at the place called Rahama, he was given a monument in his honour for the service he had given unto the people. The mighty monument was a great stone, and upon the stone was written Sharonak, whom the Lord gave back his tongue, and did speak with his thundering and lightning of heaven. He was a true prophet. Now at this time, being sixty years upon the land, the people had grown strong, and their numbers had increased, and they had children, and their children had children, and their flocks had increased, and their horses had become a large one. Their sea shore houses were full of grain and they were indeed blessed by the Lord and it took pleasure in worshipping the Lord their God and became the people were happy in their worship. They sang and danced and gave thanks and they built great and mighty temples and they built great temples on the plain, and they called Cimarron, and it is their very same temple in which I, Jaranat, do sit and compile the record of my father. For this temple that my that they did build in the name of the Lord and they were mighty and grateful people, and the plains of Shiblon were great <coughs> and vast, and it was filled with many buildings and houses, and many places where the people of Aranak could gather to sing and dance, and also to hear the words of the Lord. Now, before this great journey, Shablon had anointed another in his stead, a new prophet by the name of Zionak. 
So, brothers and sisters, we've come to the end of chapter six, uh, where they journeyed across the sea. So they had built the sheep, and we heard that Adjanak had died, and uh, it, people were very sad that he died, and uh, then they boarded the ships, and then they, the Lord, Heavenly Lord, protecting that. And when you have faith in the Lord, He protects you. So He protected them and caused the weather to be good so they could get to where they needed to, to the Promised Land. And they got there, and Hajanak had, Sharanak had to do another mission. So He appointed a new prophet to look after them while Sharanak crossed the sea. And that prophet was Zionite. So we thank you for today's reading in the scriptures. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will be the peop with the people that watch this video and be with them and comfort them and guide them like you did in the, in the book today. You guide the people across the sea. So guide us in our life that we do right. And I say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shalom, brothers and sisters.